In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create this design. And I already have uh, a few more variations of the product. So then we could play with the animation when the user clicks on the colors. This changes also. So the first thing that you're going to do is create a new file. Make sure the frame rate is 24 and the platform type is ActionScript 3.0. Create new. Now in the library panel, I'm going to bring in all the files, all the images. And with the screen file, I'm going to bring it here. And because my stage size is not um, the same as the image size, what I'm going to do is click on the image. And when I click it, I could see the width and the height of it. So I'll be copying these values into the document settings. So this one, copy the height and paste it into the height document settings. And to just position this, we could use the alignment tool, align to stage, align it to the center and align it to the middle. Okay. Once you're happy, you're going to create, you're going to rename the layer. This one, we're going to make it reference. Um, and I'm going to duplicate this layer and the second one, I'll keep it on the side. So this is where I'm going to see the colors and the one that's at the bottom, I'm going to lower the up opacity of. So click on this lower layer, the image that's in the lower layer and go to frame, color effects, alpha, and then just decrease the opacity. Okay. Once you're happy, we're going to create a new folder. And because this is going to have multiple layers, I'm just just want everything to be tidy. So I'm going to position this inside the, the folder and ne name it reference. OK, we'll lock this. We're not going to lock it in yet. Um, yeah, OK, lock it in. Now we could start designing our um, composition. Um, create a new layer. And I'm going to place the reference layers at the top so then this stays at all times. And then I could just grab the colors from this, um, this image here. Okay. Uh, so to start with, I'm going to create the background. So the background, we have um, a black color. Um, let's create, let's use a rectangle, change the color to black or you could just choose it here because it's like a grayish, it's a dark grayish color. Okay, and then for the stroke, we don't want a stroke. And I'll create a new layer, lock these in, create a new layer. And in here, I'll be starting to draw. So this is going to be my background. I'll place it under here. So then we could still see the design on the top. Um, so this is the background. And then a new layer for the, um, for the white part. So I'm going to use the rectangle permitive tool because as you could see, there are round edges here. So select this. Uh, the fill. We want a white color and I'm going to change. So here we're going to have round edges and here it's going to be straight edges. So for the rectangular options, you can change it like this. But again, I don't want it to have edges here. So the way to change it is that you would select individual rectangle corners. And here, let's say 60 or 50, a bit less. And then here also 50. Okay. Uh, let's just slightly bring this up. So I'm clicking option and I'll drag it up. Perfect. Now this, we could cut this and I'll paste it into the background. Oops, it's locked. Paste it into the background. Okay, we'll lock this in. Now for the new layer, I'm going to be starting to add the icons. So here, upper icons, everything. I'm going to use a black fill and no, no fill with the stroke. 
Bring this down. I'll make the stroke. And here also we have a shape that has a stroke. Okay. And then we could have a circle, two ovals here. We want it with the fur. Okay, option to duplicate and then we'll move it to the right. Okay, let's zoom out. So far so good. Let's go down. I'm gonna create these circles. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to give them a stroke. So then when I'm going to be animating the one that's selected, so the color that's selected, uh, the stroke color changes maybe to black to show that it, this is selected. Okay. So since I have these, I'll just grab them and then the stroke, I'll keep it white. and one stroke, okay. Oops, just scale it bigger. Okay, and then we'll duplicate these options. Okay, don't worry about the Oh, the distance because then we're going to use the alignment tool okay so I'm selecting the colors of the circles and then using the color picker I'm selecting the appropriate shade okay and then I'll select them I'll use where's the alignment tool and then distribute oops no, it has to be not aligned to the stage distribute okay, and now we're good um, Let's do the, the cart button. And because it's a rectangle primitive tool, just place you here. Use corner radius for all of them. Just use 20 or perhaps 16. close enough uh, let's see the colors it's yellow we don't have a stroke so um, okay since I am gonna be animate this I don't need the properties of a rectangle primitive tool so I'm gonna transform this into a shape I'm gonna use the expand to fill so now notice I can do more more editing it enables me to do more editing so let's Select the stroke, double click on the stroke, and then, oops, remove the stroke because we don't need it. Now for the color, it's this yellow color, so using the eyedropper tool, select the color. Okay, so we have all the shapes done. Now it's for the text. I already have written the text, so I'll just copy paste this and, and place it into the document. So new layer, text, and I'll lock the lower layer just in case, and I'll start adding my text. Now I don't know what font was used, so I'm going to try and find a font that's close. Um, So 
Bruno, Bruno, using the paragraph alignment in alignment to the left, and I'll change the font because this is not a suitable font. Um, might go for Poppins. I have fonts called Poppins. It's not too close, but it'll do for now. Okay. Uh, bring this down. We'll scale it to match what we have. Okay. And then using the option tool, I'll just drag it down to edit this title. Double click. Okay, and I'll just give it more spacing. Oops. Yeah. Let's drag this here. close enough. Um, now for the bullet points, just drag this down. So I'm clicking option to copy a layer or an element. And then I have this pasted, so I'll select them. I have this X ready, so I'll just paste it in. Okay, I think it's And then we have spacing between the, the lines, so I'm just going to add more spacing here. Okay, and there are bullet points, so let's try to create them. Oops. So I'm copying this text for the price. To make this perfect, I'm going to place it in the center and add to cart. Okay, I'm going to select this shape unlock, I'm going to select the rectangle 
and just align them to be at the center of each other. Okay, once you are happy, again, just move this because we want it to be perfect. Okay, now let me hide the, um, the reference layer. Now, what you could see is that there is a transparency here and we want to reflect this. So I'm going to select this shape, so the rectangle in the background, copy it, and above the text layer, I'm going to create a new layer. And let's just lock everything so I don't delete anything by accident. And I'll paste this in, and then this rectangle, um, yeah, this rectangle, let me hide the reference layer so you can see. This rectangle, I'm going to change its properties, so select it, expand to fill, and then I'll remove half of it. And then with this selected, I'm going to add a gradient. Um, now this gradient is going to give us this um, transparency effect that's shown, so linear gradient. Uh, we don't want the black, so just keep it white, and I'll change it to zero. Now this one should be, um, I would say it's 30%, if I click, okay. Now using the gradient transform tool, let's just rotate this and we'll bring it up and let's increase the opacity of this part so then we could see it. Could you see it? It's slightly working, let's add Let's bring it up more and scale it down a bit. Okay. So this is what I'm trying to do. Um, again, it needs slight adjustments. Color 100%. This down. Yep, very good. Okay. Um, now let's hide our image. Now what's left is our headphone image. Uh, so let's bring that in. I'm going to create a new layer. Images. Image page. Okay. Library. Drag it in, and we'll place it here so using the alignment tool align to stage and align it to the center very good okay so it's as close as possible if i had this text it would have been more accurate but this can work now we're going to move on to the next part which is um animating the screen